morning sickness, food cravings, food aversions, these things are real and I have them in week five of my pregnancy. Hi everyone, welcome to my week five pregnancy update. Today I am five weeks and five days pregnant. I can't believe it's been over two weeks since finding out that we're expecting. Um, the news seems to finally be setting in. We're not walking around shocked all the time. Um, I'm actually starting to believe that I'm pregnant and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I am feeling pregnant. So this week, uh, week five, started out with just a little bit of morning sickness. It would go away after a couple hours. I never felt like I was gonna throw up. Um, I could still eat just fine, and it really wasn't that big of a deal. Well, by Thursday, so yesterday, um, I went from wanting to eat everything, to everything sounding good, to being so hungry, to not wanting to eat anything. I had um, like a wrong bite of something, and it just turned me off, and for Thursday, I wasn't really able to eat lunch, I wasn't able to eat dinner. I went to bed hungry and nauseous, and I woke up just feeling terribly sick this morning. Um, I did get to eat something today. I forced myself to eat. I know I need to eat. I know the baby needs the nutrients. I need the nutrients. I'm grumpy if I don't eat. Um, so I did eat today. It didn't feel good though. It made me want to throw up, and I just feel yucky. I can't believe it's finally happening. The morning sickness is setting in. I am pregnant. Um, I was kind of anticipating getting morning sickness just because my mom got really bad morning sickness. I feel like we have some very similar traits. Um, I definitely think I got more of my mom's genes instead of my dad's. So I was kind of anticipating the morning sickness and it has for sure set in. And right now I'm just, you know, really hoping that at least the food aversion passes. I mean, I can't even stand being in the kitchen. It's that bad. If I open up the fridge, I start gagging. It's terrible. So that's been happening um, this week in week five. Other things that have been happening are um, I've had to pee a lot. I think part of that has to do with the fact that I'm drinking so much water, but also just the pregnancy hormones. Um, they make you have to go to the bathroom. But there was one night that I woke up twice which I normally never wake up. Um, I've been going to bed really early. I've been really tired this week, even more tired than last week. I've been going to bed at like 7.30. I've been getting like nine and a half hours of sleep on weeknights. This weekend I'm hoping to be able to get even more sleep, so I'm really excited about all the sleep that I'm getting. It's felt really great, especially with my really early mornings. It's really nice to be able to just go to bed early. Um, I don't have a lot of time in the evenings with my husband or really even for myself, but right now the focus is to make sure I'm healthy, make sure the baby's healthy, and being rested is one of the best things I can do. Um, so emotionally, it's definitely set in this week that I'm pregnant. We've been doing some different planning. I've been thinking about the future, and we actually bought a crib and changing table. I know it's kind of early, but I got a really good deal on them. And, um, you know, I guess I decided if we find out we're having twins, we'll just sell them and get something else. Because if we do have twins, um, I probably will do a different nursery setup than the one that I kind of have imagined in my head right now. Just because I'll have to fit two cribs in the nursery instead of just one crib. Um, so speaking of twins, we did set up our ultrasound appointment. So it's for April 3rd. And we will have our first ultrasound I will be nine weeks and five days pregnant, so far enough along that they'll definitely be able to tell if there's one or two babies in there. Hopefully far enough along they'll be able to hear the heartbeat, not only see it, but also hear it. I'm really excited to hear my little baby's heartbeat. Um, so that's really, really exciting. That's coming up in just four weeks from today, actually, and we're very excited about that. Um, Originally, I wasn't going to do an ultrasound in the first trimester. I wasn't planning on doing an ultrasound until like 20 or 22 weeks to find out the gender and to check to make sure everything's developing right. Um, but because there is such a high possibility of twins, really the only sure way to know for sure if there's twins is to do the ultrasound. So I did decide that it was better to do the ultrasound than not to do the ultrasound, um, just kind of for my own peace of mind. Um, so that's definitely something that we're looking forward to in four weeks. 
and we will update you just as soon as we know what we're having. Either one baby or two babies. Either way, I'll be completely thrilled. Um, the thought of having twins is still a little overwhelming, but I know I could handle it, and I know that I'd be so smitten with twins. Um, week five, going into week six, um, just we're so excited to be pregnant. I just cannot even believe that we're having like a baby. I just still just like sit there sometimes and just start crying because I'm just so excited and I'm just so happy. And finally, our little miracle is gonna be here in just eight months. Um, I can't believe how fast time's already going. I'm gonna be six weeks on Sunday, halfway through my first trimester. So for this week, I've actually lost a pound, 1.2 pounds. So starting from my pre-pregnancy weight or the weight that I weighed myself on the, the day that I found out I was pregnant, I've lost 1.2 pounds. I think that's from not being able to eat as much. I've also been eating still pretty healthy. Um, I did have one bad craving this week, actually. I was craving on Monday night pie, and I actually went and got a slice of pie. And I kind of regret it now because it wasn't that great. It was like too sweet, and I ended up not really liking it. So I decided if I'm gonna ever splurge again on a treat, that it's gonna be something really good that I really like so that I don't regret it. Um, so I did do a little splurge this week. Um, a little disappointed that I only made it two weeks into the pregnancy before splurging on a treat. I was hoping to make it a little bit longer. Um, but since then, so far so good. That's my update. Thank you so much for watching. And I will actually end with a little belly shot. Obviously I'm not really showing yet, but just so you kind of have something to compare um, when I do start showing the kind of the pre-pregnancy belly. So. Here it is in all its glory. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.